Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a quick chicken pot pie. <clears throat> so I just got got some pie crust that was out of the freezer, thawed them out, and then I got me the ones that come in the tube. That's what we're going to cover. So for your pot pies, we are making two. So each pot pie gets a good cup of chicken. I I just bought a rotisserie and picked it and then put my cartridges back here and I'm going to make some homemade chicken broth because I think Friday we'll make soup. So this is my chicken. We got broccoli broccoli in there. I love broccoli in a chicken pot pie. So that's about a heaping cup of, not a, a heaping cup, but a half a cup of broccoli. And then a half a cup, heaping cup of mixed vegetables and it's peas, carrots, corn, and green beans. Okay. Now we're going to add a can of cream of chicken. You can use a can of cream of mushroom, cream of celery, whatever you want. And we're going to put that in. We're also going to chop some onion to go in here. I've got two cans, but I, th I don't know if both are going to go in yet. You can make your own homemade cream of soups. You can put mushrooms, whatever you want in here. Any kind of veggies you want. Okay, I got a large onion in my um, Tupperware Power Chef chopper. And then we're going to blitz it up. And then not all of this is going in this. I'm going to half the onion to, in each pot pie. And I sell Tupperware, so the link will be in the bottom of the, the down in the description under the recipe if you want to go to my Tupperware website and order one. And it's called the Power Chef. This is the large one. And then we got a mini one, which is smaller. I call it the small. And it is the chop and prep. So, we're going to put just basic seasoning, salt and pepper to taste. And some onion powder and garlic powder. That's what I put in mine. You put whatever seasons you want. Of course, I can't read. I gotta read these. And the rotisseries were just original flavored. Put that rotisserie season on it. There wasn't no barbecue or lemon pepper. It was just the original. And I think one cream of chicken soup. Because the uh, veggies will put out their broth uh, moisture too. Because they're a little bit frozen still. So I think one can. Just mix it together. Then we're going to put that in the bottom of our 9 inch. Pie dough. And it's not cooked yet. I love a pot pie really with a lot of veggies in it and a little chicken. So you do yours how you want. You can make all veggie pot pie or do beef or I've even done the Morning Star um, bone with skinless chicken strips and cut them up. Okay, we spread that out. And then we're going to take one of our doughs. You could do a biscuit topping if you wanted to. Make up some biscuit dough. And we're just going to wrap this. And it always kind of, always gets a little hole right there. I don't know why. Every time I use these little things. Okay, we're going to put it on the top. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to take the excess and fold up over. And then we'll crimp around the edge with a fork. 
I'm just mashing so it meets the other seam. Not nothing fancy. You could do a fancy little design if you want to. If you use the grabber thing, you know what I'm talking about? It'll make it pretty. The grabber. We need the I don't have the top. They don't have the imprints in it. I got rid of that one. So we're just going to do a fork. We're just going to do it like that. You can make all kinds of different designs. <clears throat> however you want to. We're just doing a rustic one today. That's what I call rustic when it looks like it's really been homemade. Kind of. And it's something don't turn out. It's just rustic. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're just mashing and letting seams meet. And then we're going to put in some little air vents. <clears throat> I just stick a fork in like that and kind of wiggle it around. And then make a big X. And that's your air vent. And so I'm just following the basic direction on my pie crust. Bake it at 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes. And I think I'm going to um, get me a little egg and beat it. And then we're going to brush a little egg wash on it. It makes it real pretty. You can put a little bit of water, like a half a tablespoon in here with your egg if you want to. Some people do. I kind of thin it out more. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just brush a little egg wash all over my pie crust. It helps it get golden brown and it looks so pretty. And I'm also going to sprinkle the top with some soap. You, some people do it with a little bit of milk brushed on the top. So, whatever you want to do. Make sure you get the edge real good. Alright, now let's sprinkle a little bit of salt. And this is pink chamomile and pink sea salt. So, just a little bit. And then I'm going to pop it in the oven. I'll come back with video two. So what, make sure you watch for video too. It's going to take 30 minutes for this to bake. Then I'm going to bring it out and let it cool for 10 minutes before I serve it. 